So recently I have created this animation from the Wang Rao Ming opening and the creator of that animation also retweeted my first which make my day. And today we are doing a tutorial on this project. So let's start the video. So for this tutorial I am working on Blender 4.0 with a simple square and a light. In this scene we will create a tune shader which can work with multiple lights. I am gonna create a simple tune shader first. Our tune shader is working as expected. But to use the custom light for shadow and highlights, we need to upgrade our shader a little. To do that, I'm adding a separate color dot. So basically, with the setup, we can use RGB light to control the shadow and highlights on our object. But we need to change our set to that first. So we can see how it's affecting our shaders. If we change it to the green or blue, it won't do anything because there is no other color than red on our sun. I'm going to select this C note and make them a group. And then I'm going to just rename it tune and we can just use it on any shader now. If I add a new light in our scene, you will see it's not affecting much because it's have all the color. We need to change it to some other light green. And because of that, we have to see it's working on the green channel. And you can see it's only affecting the green channel of our shader. I'm gonna add another color depth. And with this, we can just use the green channel to add a highlights to our object. With the mix RGB, I can just add it to our shader and we get a highlight with a separate light. We can also add another light with the blue channel. We need to click on the blue channel to see how it's working. So you can see that's how it's looking at right now. And with the mix shader, we can add another layer of color with a separate light. There is one more light trick, it's called a dark light, in which you can just add the negative value to your light and it will create shadow on your object. You can see how it's working. It will just create the shadow on your object and you can use multiple of them. So I'm using this hand model for our project and you can see it's very simple. Just I sculpted a bit to change its shape. We have the same set of group to work with and we have this light which is pure dark and this light which is pure green. And there are some blue lights in the palm of the hand. With the basic shader, you can see I'm just adding a shadow and base color. I 
I already picked the color in that color and so I'm just copying the color. You can see I also added the negative lights. This is the negative light which is affecting the shadow. And there are some blue lights as well. You can see this one is pure blue. So now I will just add the blue one to it and you can see we have a layer of the shadow and we can just add another color to it. I'm going to add another shade to the nails in the same shader. Just I'm using the green light for the nails so I can control it differently on the hand. You can see it's working fine. For the metal shader, the process is similar, but we are going to add some more dots to it. I'm going to add a layer weight node with a color M. With the layer weight node, we can get a silhouette over our object. I'm going to invert the color of it because I'm going to multiply it to our shader. It just gives it a much better look from the gold. And we can control it more further with some additional two nodes. So I'm going to add a geometry node and a vector math node. Plug the normal to the vector and vector to the normal. And we can control the direction of its orbit. So I'm adjusting it to my liking. You can do it as well. So here is the same setup I just used. You can see. I also use this same setup on the chain. I tried multiple shader shutter to create a similar look just like I referenced but it was not good so I had to just go for something that will look good. So you can see I am using this setup. I am using a simple cell shader with a Voronoi bump which can give us some track shadows. And I am using three color M, one for color one for highlight and one for highlighted shadows. Towns and flower also help me out with this shader. You can see the whole shader here and copy it if you want to. Now we are going to start the line art process. I create a new collection to store our line art and I'm going to add a object line art. And we also need a camera to make it work. In the modify, you can just control the thickness of your light art. And you can customize it with multiple modify. But first we need to disable these things. Or you can add some glitchy stuff on multiple of that. So I'm using the length modifier. If you decrease it, you can get some gaps on the edges, which kind of look good, but many times. To mark the custom outline, you have to go to the add-in mode and select the edge you want to mark and go to the edge and mark it as a freestyle edge.
you can also create multi uh, jack dad with your knife tool and just mark them it's here you new topology a little but it's not that much of a big deal for object like this and it's very useful stuff to know because you are going to use it a lot if you are using NPR outlines and if you go to the effects you can add some effect and I'm going to use the pixelate one to make it look for hand drawn I'm going to use it as a multiply blend mode and decrease its opacity so we can get some more pencil looks. And in this hand, if you see, I have a different collection of line art. And in the hand, you can see I have marked multiple line arts, like this yellow mass indicate where I mark the line arts, and I have multiple cards through the topology. It tunes the topology a little but it actually works. And you can see this looks really well. I have separate collection for rings and apple as well. I added some dark lights for finger shadows. It's actually the blue lights. So I can create some shadow. I had parented it to the fingers vertexes. So it will move with it. Now let's start the light fix. First, I will need to animate our camera a little. You can also animate the object if you need, but because of the this demonstration, I will just animate the camera. I will add a blank grease pencil object in this collection. Then I have to go to the draw mode and select the surface and decrease the offset value. I'm gonna enable the full strength, disable the use light option, and choose the colors for the material, which I'm using a vibrant color, so you can see it clearly. But as I draw on surface, there's a bit of a problem. You can see it's not working as I expected. So there is some fixes for that. First, we can just move up, choose the cursor option, and draw in 3D cursor, but because I move 3D cursor a lot, it won't work that much good. So I'm gonna use this plane. Use the copy rotation cam constraint to move it along the camera. And we are gonna draw on that, but we need to make it transparent first. After that, after the shadow fix drawing, you can just delete the plane. And now if we draw this plane, we need to delete the stock first. If I draw now, you can see, it's working fine, just a little big or thick. So to fix that, we need to increase the distance between plane and the camera. Then go to edit mode, select all the stroke and delete them. Now if you go to the draw mode, we can draw normally. And do not forget to turn on the auto key framing, so you can draw frame by frame. You don't actually have to draw multiple times, you can just sculpt on different frame as well. Or duplicate the previous frame. With this method, I you 
I created this side of X. You can see this side of X. I have to draw frame by frame. Just make sure you are not moving the camera. <laughs> so, or if you are moving the camera, you already set up the full scene. So, you don't have to move it otherwise. So, now the final part, I separated hand and apple in different view layers. You can see. If you can enable the whole lot option here. And if you go to the render mode, there is no apple. And in the apple collection, layer you can see there is no hand so there is two layers and if you go to compositor and enable the use nodes and then render it there is our hand I have duplicate the render layer and select the apple layer so there is our apple and we need to join these two layers with alpha overload then to add a background we can just use a mix color node and join two alphas of our layer with add factor and we need another mix color node Now we have a background for our object. So here is the full process of our scene. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.